Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of cosine s square root of x dx. Okay, you can solve this integral by combination of the substitution rule and the formula for integration by part. So if you define s square root of x as t, here uh, you can conclude that x will be equal to t squared. So if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, you will get dx equal to 2t dt. Okay, so now if you substitute this uh, expression into this integral, you can rewrite this integral as cosine. In a set of square root of x, I write t because square root of x was defined as t. And in a set of dx, I write 2t dt. Okay, and now to solve this integral, you need to apply the formula for integration by part. That is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. Okay, so here, if you define 2t as u, therefore 2 dt will be equal to du. And if you define cosine t dt as dv, therefore v will be equal to integral of cosine t dt. And integral of cosine t dt, we know it's equal to sine t. So now if you basically uh, uh, substitute this equation, these expressions into this formula, you will get that this integral will be equal to uv, that is u, that is v, therefore that will be equal to 2t times sine t minus integral of v, that is this one, sine t du, and du is equal to 2 dt, okay? And 2 is constant, so I take it out of the integral, uh, and then dt, okay? And this integral will be equal to uh, 2t sine t minus, uh, we know that the integral of sine t is minus cosine t, so minus times this minus, that will be plus, 2 cosine t plus c, which is the constant of the integral. So here all you need to do is to substitute this parameter t with the definition of t, which is s square root of x. Therefore, the integral of cosine s square root of x, the x will be equal to 2, in a set of t I write s square root of x, sorry, times sine s square root of x plus 2 cosine uh, in a set of t, I write s square root of x because here t is defined as s square root of x plus c. Okay, and that's the solution to the in, to this integral. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are interested, please feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.